OK, so ladies and gentlemen, what they want us to do is they want us to simplify this expression by factoring. All right. So Jacob, what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of show it in a, in a manner that's going to make a little bit more sense to me when dealing with factoring. All right, when I think of factoring, ladies and gentlemen, I think of something like this. x squared minus 2x plus 1. Huh? Yeah, but I'm just saying when I think of factoring, though, I think of something like this. And I say, oh, OK, well, factoring, um, you know, you can just break this up. What two numbers multiply to give you positive 1, but add to give you negative 2? So you could say that's going to be x minus 1 times x minus 1. To me, that makes sense as factoring, right? Then sometimes when we have a fourth degree and a second degree, we talked about, well, that's kind of the same point. It's just going to make your two factors going to have squared. So if I did x to the fourth minus 2x squared plus 1, when I factor that, it's now just going to be x squared minus 1 times x squared minus 1. Right? The same thing's going to work out. You just multiply that through by FOIL, you're still going to get your exact same answer. Now, this looks a, little bit more, a lot more difficult um, because I'm now dealing with cosines. But however, ladies and gentlemen, it's really the exact same thing. All right? First of all, let's rewrite it so it's in this format. So I have cosine of the fourth degree x minus 2 cosine squared of x plus 1. And then when factoring, all I'm simply doing is creating my two factors. Or not always my two factors, but just, two, just factors that are going to multiply cosine. to give me my product. This is number 51. 52. Do it 52. So, right. So if you look at this, how I factored it with just regular variables, if you look at this and my factors, exactly what Jacob, what two numbers multiply to give me cosine, cosine to the fourth? Well, yeah, cosine squared of x times cosine squared of x. Right? And then if you put negative 1 and negative 1, you guys can see. Huh? Which one do you mean? Like that should be positive or that should be oh, negative? No. You see, or just the negative? OK. So now I have cosine squared of x minus 1. Now, does cosine squared of x minus 1 equal anything? Yeah, you could say, remember, sine squared of x plus cosine squared of x equals 1. Oh, yeah. So you could say that cosine squared of x minus 1, that equals? close equals negative sine squared of x. All right? If you subtract the 1 to the other side and then subtract the sine to the other side, you get cosine squared of x minus 1 equals negative sine of x. So therefore, you can write this as negative squared sine of x times negative sine squared of x. So you have sine to the fourth degree of x. Let's simplify. Yep. Huh? And that'd be your final answer. There you go.